actually install the drivers that it would need and here we are it's finished and we are using a network printer well um, one last thing that is left this was about the printer so um, one last thing that is left is the internet connection well let's go back to client 1 since client 1 it was the computer that was connecting us to the internet well on client 1 there are two ways that we could connect to the internet one let's go to my network places click properties one is the dial-up connection and the other one is the router connection let me give these connection names so they're more easy they're they're much more easier to um, understand for instance local area connection number one is my connection that connects me to the work group I uh, would call a work group MS home okay and local area connection number two is the internet connection okay for now I have disabled this and this is my new dial-up connection I would call it AT NT NT connection this is the dial-up connection okay so um, what happens here is that this connection is the moment that we um, shared this connection over uh, th this connection on this certain workstation other users would be able to connect to the internet but the problem is that uh, I don't have a modem installed on this computer so when I right click on it I'm not able to connect and uh, I don't have e e either um, connection to the internet on this computer and no other users would be able to connect um, to this dial-up modem and connect to the internet but if you had the modem and if you had this connection here uh, when you s when you run the uh, workgroup wizard and when when it comes to the sharing connection it would simply share this connection you would have uh, access to the internet on this computer and on any other computer on your work group and when on other computers on your work group you attempt to connect to the internet the same dial-up box would be open up and the dial-up would be start would be the modem would dial up to the internet from your um, computer and the internet connection would be shared for the um, third party that is connecting to the internet well here um, since I don't have a modem, I would be going ahead and deleting this. So um, I'm going to actually explain the router. Well, normally users now they are using routers to connect to the internet, and well, and they have like broadband um, connections. So normally there won't be um, users that are using dial-up these days anymore. So we would simply just go ahead and connect and enable this connection here and after this is uh, enabled we would go ahead and share this connection so that other users would be able to connect first before we go ahead and share it we would check to see whether this connection okay it looks like it's enabled yes it is okay so let's go ahead and check whether we have internet connect connection to the internet here we open up the web browser, Internet Explorer. Finally, it opens, it opens up, and it was already downloading, so we had connection. I was, I'm just going to choose um, Google, Google, and finally, it would bring the Google web page in it. Okay, in a second or two. Okay, so we have access to the internet here let's go right click on our internet connection click properties and go to advanced and there's a part which is written internet connection sharing the short is ICS um, choose this option allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet, internet connection this would share this uh, specific internet connection allow other network users to control or disable the shared internet connection this depends on your own so you could choose it or either disable it click OK and it says when an internet connection sharing is enabled your LAN adapter will be set to use IP address 192.168.0.1 your computer may lose connectivity with the other computers on the network if these computers have static IP addresses you should set them to obtain their IP address automatically 
Well, when you turn on uh, internet connection sharing, your IP address is changed to this. So since we had um, similar IP addresses, and that was the reason that we were connecting to each other based on one subnet, right now when this computer IP address is changed, um, no one would be having access to this computer anymore, and no one would be having access to the connection that is shared. So what we have to do is that it says, are you sure you want to enable the sharing? We say yes, and it would go ahead and start to share this connection. Well, as soon as this is um, shared and configured, we would go ahead, go to other workstations uh, that are placed on our work group, and we would go, for example, to client 2 and we are on the administrator double click on our network connection this time instead of manually um, configuring the IP we choose the obtain an IP address automatically and click OK and click OK it would go ahead and acquire an IP address from the DHCP router and the DHCP on the router let's go to client 3 here we are with the Melody account let's log off log off it would be the same let's just do it for client 2 it would be the same for client 3 so there won't be any problems if it works for client 2 it would definitely work for client 3 as well so it would take a little bit of time oh here I think it's done if I'm not mistaken oh yes it's done it's actually, as it says, it's acquired network address and it's done. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we have access to the internet. I'm going to check for the administrator. It won't make any difference. If, if it works for the administrator, it would work for the users as well. As you see here, MSN.com is opening up. So we're connected to the internet here as well. And there's no problem. Here is the see it's downloading data and the pictures and so on. Okay, well, uh, I think um, there's nothing much to say anymore. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And well, to support us, you could either subscribe, uh, recommend us to other users, and well, so on. If you have any other problems or questions, you could just simply either post a message in YouTube or leave a comment on the blog or either send a message to imparlabs dot imparlabs at um, gmail dot com and well that's it I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye